Graphene is considered one of the most futuristic materials with a wide range of applications in the field of new technologies. The breakthrough character of this material lies primarily in its two-dimensionality. From a physical point of view, it is a layer of individual carbon atoms arranged in a hexagon very similar to a honeycomb. Graphene is an excellent conductor of heat and electricity. Even today, it is considered the successor of silicone in the field of electronics. As a transparent and flexible conductor, the material can be used to produce photocells, roll-up projection screens, touch panels, as well as LED lamps. It also greatly increases the frequency of the electromagnetic signal, allowing the production of the fastest transistors. The European Union has already invested 1 billion euro to kickstart the graphene industry. At the same time, the success of graphene forced scientists to pay attention to similar properties of flat surfaces made of other elements. Borophene, consisting of a single layer of boron atoms, turned out to be the most promising. Scientists have found that a new material that is many times stronger, thinner, and more flexible than graphene can open the door to materials with new properties suitable for atomic-scale engineering. For the first time, the possibility of the existence of borophene was predicted back in the mid-90s using computer simulations. The atomic structure of borophene consists of triangular and hexagonal elements and is a consequence of the interaction between two-center and multi-center intraplanar bonds, which is very typical for elements with an electron deficit to which boron belongs. Everything looked good on the computer screen, but it was only in 2015 that it was possible to grow single-layer borophene in practice. The fact is that if the simplest methods can be used to produce graphene, including atomically thin exfoliation using a film with a sticky layer, then borophene cannot be separated in this way. Its structure is stronger and an atomically thin layer can only be grown on a special substrate. Single-layer borophene was able to be synthesized using chemical vapor deposition. This is a process in which a hot gas of boron atoms condenses on the cold surface of pure silver. Dreams to create a multi-layer borophene with a possibility of interlayer energy storage then seemed fantastic. Borophene is stronger than graphene and due to its unusual structure, it is light and flexible. It is a superconductor with high specific capacitance and electronic conductivity. In fact, a perfect material for storing ions. And this is the key to creating new ion batteries and not only based on lithium. Borophene seems to have been created with the aim of collecting and accumulating ions of various elements. And we must say thanks to this to the same perforated structure. Borophene also perfectly cleaves molecular hydrogen, assigning its ions, and can accumulate up to 15% of its weight in this way. It has proved to be an excellent catalyst in various reactions with hydrogen and oxygen, which promises a breakthrough in the creation of water-based energy systems. Following graphene, experts say borophene will revolutionize the computer processor and chip industry, as its electrical conductivity is even higher. Borophene is also used in the defense industry and ballistic applications. It can likely be used to counter radar, in other words, staying off the radar. Although it is too early to talk about the industrial synthesis of borophene, last year scientists made an important step forward in the development of technology. Specialists from the Northwestern University, USA, for the first time managed to do what until recently seemed impossible, to derive a two-layer borophene. In one of their experiments with substrates for growing borophene, scientists used silver which was subjected to heating to a certain temperature. The resulting substrate looked like a cascade of terraces with a relatively large area each. During the experiment, it turned out that on such a substrate, borophene was formed in two neat layers. Until recently, all attempts to grow a two-layer borophene failed. Instead of the second layer, volumetric accumulations of boron were formed in the form of a single crystal structure. Therefore, the result obtained was unexpected. But everyone was pleasantly surprised. They found what they had long dreamed of. In more detail, in the production of borophene, a procedure very similar to the production of synthetic diamond is used. This process is to allow a gas of a high temperature and containing boron atoms to condense on a very uniform surface. Such a surface must consist of pure silver, the temperature of which must be substantially lower than that of the gas so that it can condense and crystallize on it. 
The regular arrangement of the silver atoms causes the boron atoms to line up similarly, creating a flat, hexagonal structure. Theoretically, each boron atom should bond with six others, but in reality, they usually form four to five bonds each. It is the presence of so-called vacancies that gives borophene crystals their unique qualities. Unfortunately, the new material of the future is still very expensive to manufacture and difficult to handle. Therefore, before it begins to be widely used in industry, it is necessary to solve two problems. To learn how to protect borophene from oxidation and to develop its commercially effective synthesis. A significant step towards the creation of borophene electronics was made by researchers from the USA. They learned to increase the number of domains inside a crystal by a million times. Note that borophene and graphene are by no means the only ultra-modern materials that in the future are designed to replace the usual copper, lithium, or tin. There are some others. For instance, stannine whose properties make it a 100% electrical conductor. Or blue phosphorus, which may be important for the development of optoelectronics. One can recall how, before the Second World War, the construction world was skeptical about such an innovation as the development of glass fiber reinforced concrete, and how, after 30 years, this material burst into the industry and is still widely used today. Perhaps in a few years, electric vehicles and computer equipment produced using borophene parts will become our reality.